welcome back to my channel it's the mad self san diego and today is my 80th day of walking thank you so much to the 65 viewers who joined my premiere yesterday and you guys are always amazing joining my premiere and supporting my channel and all of you who replayed the film thank you so so much Thank you to my generous super chatters yesterday, Nance Enero. Thank you for waking up at 3 in the morning and giving me super chats and get inspired of what I tell. So uh, thank you so much, Nance Enero. I hope you support this channel too because it's all 500 watch hours away to get monetized. So please, please support Nance Enero. And also, Amy Divina, we're doing a grand raffle this Friday or Saturday. We will announce soon on her channel. So I hope you support Amy Divina too. She is one of my super chatters. And Riz Life Chart. Thank you, thank you so much for sending all your viewers to my premiere yesterday. And thank you for all the generosity that you have given me all throughout this journey. I can't thank all of you enough for all the generosity, love, and support for what I do. Thank you! Also, yesterday, Ivana Alawi went to see my premiere. Um, she just said hello. I'm not sure if it's really Ivana Alawi. If that's the real account of Ivana Alawi, I appreciate you and I hope you stay longer so to mingle with everybody and to to talk to us if it's really you. But if it's not, I still appreciate whoever account did that and thank you for joining me in my premiere. But if you're Ivana Alawi, I hope you watch this and thank you so much. Hope you come visit me again soon. I'm doing this live stream every 3 a.m. so hope to see you again soon. Have you heard about the law of attraction? This is what I read today and I want to share with you because it's really interesting and I thought that it might be helpful for us. So I want to share with you my thoughts and if you have anything that you want to mention or you want to comment, please let me know. Reading to study, 90% of the information that we receive throughout the day is negative. It is up to us whether we absorb it or we disregard. So before we sleep, it is recommended that we have to clear our mind with all the negative thoughts. Because it is better to have a four hour good night sleep instead of the eight hours sleep, but it's broken. Like you can't sleep or you're tossed and turned for eight hours, but it's better if you have a four hours, but it's straight good night sleep. So to achieve that, we have to get rid of the negative thoughts that we receive all throughout the day, like from work, from family, or everything, just from the grocery store, because all those negative thoughts will haunt us during nighttime. So law of attraction is the power of the mind to translate whatever thoughts that we want to achieve or we want to translate into reality. Law of Attraction is a power of our mind which uses to translate our thoughts in reality. So whatever it is in our mind, whether it's positive or negative, it is our power to translate it into reality. Whatever goal, whatever you want to attain, it is your power with massive action that it can be translated into reality. 
it's either negative or positive if you focus on the negative though you will be zoomed into clouds like you will be focused in darkness in negativity and you can't move forward because you're stay there but if you focus on positivity you have to do something to turn those positive thoughts into reality for example if you want to be a doctor or you want to be a lawyer you have to focus on that to be a lawyer or to be a doctor you know, or something else like if you want to do something here in YouTube you want to attain something you have to focus on that positivity to attain that goal because if not you will be doomed and you will be stuck in negativity what are the positive reinforcement before we go to sleep so that we can attain that good night's sleep I mean you know it's so hard to get a good night's sleep we are so distracted especially with technology when we wake up in the middle of the night we will just take our phone and check on YouTube or our social media but we can start by setting a time so for example you or you want to just um, have a two hours of social media before you go to bed and then in the middle of the night don't turn off your phone or don't put it next to your bed so that when you wake up in the middle of the night you will not just get it and go check on your social media because otherwise you will not get a good night you will be distracted because you or your focus are on that phone and also before you go to bed listen to music um take a good bath take a good shower remove all those negativity because there's so many distractions and negativity in our minds that even in our sleep meditate also a good uh distraction to negativity is meditation i know it's so hard to attain all of this because of so many distractions and negative around the world with what's going on in our society it's really hard to attain these positive thoughts but i'm guilty i am so guilty about that because sometimes in the middle of the night i check my social media and go to youtube and check on all of you who, who did the premiere or who did who is live streaming or who who have film that i i need to support too but we should set that negative thoughts out of our mind and give ourselves a peace give ourselves a good night's sleep for us not to be cranky the following day because a lot of times when we don't have good night's sleep we can focus the following day we, we are so hard heated up with so many things we are distracted and it affects so many things at work our family our friends it affects so many things even ourselves so you are you don't feel good when you are cranky so yeah just good to share with you about what i've read today I try to avoid the crowd that's why I walk around the parking lot and on the side of this field because there is so many players I don't know I think those are baseball softballs or whatever right now sports they are playing right now because I'm not sporty enough to know but I'm trying to avoid them so that I can still walk and talk with you guys but yeah this place is so big I wish I know how to ride a bike thank you all so much for joining me in another healthy swelt walking challenge I hope that you comment down below so I su and suggest please suggest and do accept the challenge the main goal the main focus of this journey is to really exercise so i hope more people will accept this challenge and thank you all so much for joining me in 
today's vlog this is my 80th day achieving for a hundred and more days so please comment like subscribe to the Mads of San Diego aka the walking vlogger see you all tomorrow god bless everyone bye